country has its own army to protect the borders. These armies work under the respective government and has a well-structured organization. However, there are some private groups for hire that are infamous for working without rules. These mercenaries are hired by many governments to do their shady work across the globe. In today's video, we have brought to you some of the most famous or rather infamous mercenary groups who are also called private military companies or PMCs in the world. So stick around till the end of the video to know all about such shady organizations. To begin with, there's the Wagner Group. This private company has been in the news headlines during past few days for their threats and attempts to coup against the Russian Federation. However, it wasn't always the same. This group has played significant role in Putin's plans for terrorizing people in the Ukraine over the last few months. Operating primarily under the radar, the Wagner Group has earned a notorious reputation as a covert mercenary force. Often referred to as Putin's private army, this Russian PMC is said to consist of highly skilled ex-military personnel. One of the earliest known deployments of the Wagner Group was during the Crimean annexation in 2014, where it played a significant role in supporting separatist forces. The group's fighters displayed remarkable military skills and operated alongside Russian-backed rebels, leading to speculation of their direct links to the Russian government. Wagner Group's activities have spanned across various conflict zones, including Ukraine, Syria, Libya and the Central African Republic. Their tactical prowess and efficiency have made them a significant player in modern warfare. Next in the list comes Executive Outcomes. Executive Outcomes was established in 1989 by Eben Barlow and Lafras Luiting, both former officers in the South African Defence Force. It quickly gained a reputation for its effectiveness in resolving complex African conflicts. EO's well-trained personnel, comprising mostly ex-military veterans, were instrumental in resolving civil wars and quelling insurgencies in countries such as Angola and Sierra Leone. In Angola, EO played a crucial role in supporting the Angolan government against the UNITA rebels. Their military expertise and innovative tactics turned the tide of the conflict, contributing to the eventual peace agreement in 1994. Despite its success, executive outcomes faced significant criticism and controversies. Critics argued that the involvement of private military companies like EO undermined national sovereignty, bypassed democratic processes and created a precedent for the privatization of warfare. Then comes Academy, formerly known as Blackwater. Academy, previously known as Blackwater, emerged as one of the most notorious mercenary companies in modern times. Blackwater was established in 1997 by Eric Prince, with its headquarters initially located in North Carolina in US. Prince, a former Navy SEAL and entrepreneur, envisioned Blackwater as a provider of comprehensive security services including training, personal protection and tactical support. The company quickly expanded its operations, gaining contracts from the US government and other entities. Blackwater's notoriety soared during the Iraq War, where it secured a lucrative contract from the US Department of State to provide security services. However, a series of high-profile incidents, including the 2004 Nisar Square Massacre, in which Blackwater contractors killed 17 Iraqi civilians, led to intense scrutiny and widespread condemnation. While their aggressive tactics sparked criticism, Academy's expertise in providing security and training services cannot be denied. Next in the list comes Triple Canopy. Founded in 2003 by former US Special Forces, operators and security industry professionals, Triple Canopy became known for its expertise in high-risk environments. The company was established in response to the growing demand for private security services following the 9-11 attacks and subsequent conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. The company secured contracts to provide security services to US government agencies, diplomatic missions and private clients operating in these regions. Then comes in the list AG's Defence Services. AG's Defence Services was founded in 2002 by Tim Spicer, a former British Army officer with extensive military experience. This PMC has been actively involved in providing security services in some of the world's most volatile regions. The company has operated in countries such as Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya and Somalia, supporting government and commercial clients in challenging environments. However, like any other PMC, they too are infamous for mishandling civilians. They got into controversy when in 2005, a video emerged online showing AG's personnel firing on Iraqi civilians, leaving a dark spot on their operations. 
while private military companies or PMCs have played a significant role in conflict zones and security operations worldwide, their existence raises a host of ethical, legal and practical concerns. The negative aspects of PMCs cannot be ignored and a critical examination of their impact leads to a sobering conclusion. Firstly, the lack of transparency and accountability surrounding the PMCs is a major cause for concern. And secondly, the profit motive that underpins the operations of many PMCs can compromise the integrity of their actions. Additionally, the involvement of PMCs can undermine state sovereignty and the monopoly of force traditionally held by national governments. A comprehensive re-evaluation of the regulatory framework surrounding PMCs is necessary to ensure the protection of human rights, adherence to international law and the promotion of sustainable peace and security. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to In Depth. Thank you for watching.